I was just uh, putting some uh, angle iron on the shed roof so I can add some more solar and woo, got a little blizzard going on. Crazy. Wasn't doing this a second ago. I thought it was spring. Anyways, we're gonna get another about three, close to 3,000 watts of panels on this shed roof here. At least we're gonna try. I don't know if it's doable or not. The other panels are gonna stick so far up. I might have to turn them sideways and then we won't get near as many. Might only get six, but that's eh, still better than nothing. And now we're in the house and I forgot to shoot what I did, but I got four panels out of six installed. There's gonna be two more sideways at the top there. But, yeah, pretty happy with what I got done. I just put a angle iron at the bottom there, the very bottom and an angle iron at the top, screwed everything into the roof. And that's it, we got ourselves, that's an extra almost 1500 watts there. Once we have the next two, that'll be over 2,000 watts. It'll be like 2,200 watts. And look at that, I even cleaned off the panels for the third time today. And we got a nice, mostly sunny day again today. It's awesome, making lots of power. Got the four panels on there. We're gonna put two more up today. We got my blue electric car here charging on the 3.3 kilowatt hour, kilowatt charger. And then I got my uh, my uh, my gray one in the garage charging off of just the trickle charger, the little uh, 1500 watt. All right, got the power station on the tractor. Let's go hook this up to some solar. All right, what do you guys think? That's an extra, well, it's a little over 2000 watts. I haven't actually added it up yet. It's like 2300 watts or 2200 watts or something. Just used angle iron, mount, mounted it to the panels, both sides. This, the middle is wet because they got two pieces of angle. I went uh, inch and a quarter in the middle, two inches on each side. And then I just very uh, uh, leisurely installed it on this side. I got three brackets here, a massive uh, lag screw going down holding a, a, a piece of aluminum that's clamping cr clamping them down and then same with that side I just have three pieces holding it down it can only be the wind can only grab it from this little section here and this little section here so I believe it should be fine plus we have all these trees here plus this is northern wind which we hardly ever get and when we do this is an upper hill up here and then we're going down into a valley so we really never get any wind that grabs these And we go inside, we got the generator here, the generator's new fuel tank, and the solar system, the portable solar system. This is just, I can just disconnect it from the MC4 connectors, bring it anywhere for power. And what are we getting at the moment? It's sun and cloud, sun and cloud. Oh, we got cloud, of course, right now. We're getting 1.4 kilowatt hours, or kilowatts, sorry. There's our amps coming into our batteries. There's our battery voltage, 55.7. Oh, we're starting to get some power. Oh, it's going away again. Total produced ever on this charge controller is almost 30 kilowatts. Ah, I'll come back to you when this is up here. We were getting over 2,000 watts earlier. What are we dealing with here? Ah, just a little cloud. Almost gone. Maybe we'll just wait here. See what we make off this little system. Oh, getting there. There we go, 2,000. Awesome. This is perfect for a little system like this. And I can put all my, my goodie box away, all my solar connectors and everything. Man, if you're doing solar stuff, you gotta have a box like this, it's so nice. Anyways, just showing you guys what I'm doing, and I'm probably going to bring my electric car, park it there, and plug it into this system right here. Just trickle charge it with uh, 1,400 watts. As long as the sun's out, we'll be making more than enough power. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Okay, so we got the backup generator back in. This is just in case this ever goes down for whatever reason. I doubt it will, but always have a backup. I like to run this every three months or so. 
Um, this is the char one of the chargers, so this I would use to charge this off of the generator. Or I, in my house, what I was doing is I was using this on cloudy days, and on sunny days, I would charge everything back up just for a bigger pool of energy. It also has, so that's a about 1,000 to 1,200 watt charger. This is about a 700 watt charger. And so that's already built in. That can stay. I just don't have, usually I store it right here. And then, but with it, be, always, I'm going to leave it plugged in all the time now, so I won't be able to leave that in there, unfortunately. But we got lots of power coming in, just under 2,000 watts. Batteries are getting fairly full. I got the inverter on, nothing's running right now, but I have this orange extension cord running over here. It's just running on the ground behind the shed and behind my panels here. And then I have running across the ground all the way up to my my electric car 110 volt adapter. So this is for 110. So this one's 240 volt. This one does 3.3 kilowatts. This one does 100. This is 120 volt. Does uh, about 13, 1400 watts around there. And I'm going to be getting a 6.6 .6 kilowatt soon. Whenever I get that uh, 12k Genetry Solar inverter. Now right now it's charging. I don't know if you can see it's charging. It's got one light blink in there off of the 3.3 kilowatt. But I'm gonna unplug the 3.3 just for a test. I'll put it here and we're gonna plug in the, the trickle charge essentially. Here we go, we're charging, as you can see. Yeah. So let's go look and see what the reliable inverter is saying. So this is a full reliable system. This is uh, Reliable's uh, charge controller, 60 amp, and Reliable's uh, uh, 3000 watt split phase inverter. Now what are we pulling? We are pulling 11.6 amps and oh we got less than Less power coming in than going out at the moment, guys. There must be a cloud. Let's take a look-see. Oh, yeah, there she is. Cloud in the sky, but we'll be making lots of power soon. We got a five, usable five kilowatt buffer, five kilowatt hour. Let's see, we're making 600 watts. Oh, pause it, it'll wait till the cloud goes over. Oh, uh, she's just peeking out now. You'll see. It is almost four o'clock too. And that's not, we're not gonna have sun for much longer where we are. Oh, look at that, 2,000 watts again. Woohoo! That's awesome. We have, uh, yeah, about 2,070 watts coming in and about, you gotta do the math for me here, but 111, 119 volts times 11.6. And that's how many watts you get going out between 13 and 1400 watts something around that that's awesome now when i'm low on power on my main system i can uh, come out here and hook up to this this should that's kilo, five kilowatt hours to charge in about two and a half hours with 2000 watts coming in so it should almost always be charged when i come out here to hook up and there's the system just gotta paint that black or something take a wire wheel to it and paint it black Awesome. Maybe one day I'll get a, a real electric car. Something that's a little bit more uh, capable than the Nissan Leaf. Maybe at least like a, a 60 kilowatt would be nice. But, uh, or at least a good a 40 kilowatt with a good battery. <laughs> yeah, very happy with this, guys. It's working so good. Awesome. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.